Shalom, I'm all praise, honor, glory to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Bashon Yahweh Shai, Bashon Rukhara Kodash, love honor to the apostles and elder bishops and elders of Great Millstone, the rule well, and the thought this is true, for among many other things. Salutations to the sincere Achim out there that are out in the highways and byways, prophesying the downfall of this wicked kingdom, you know, which is ruled by Esau Edom, the so called white man, you know, that the Bible speaks of, you know, the devil. Really, that the Bible speaks of, because the so-called white man, according to the scriptures, is Esau, Edom. Their forefathers, Esau, they're not white, they're different shades of red, you know, other one, which goes into, you know, um, them being red, you know, and Ishashua, Esau, in the Hebrew, goes into wasted away is he, you know, if you break it down. You know, and our forefather, you know, last but not least, is Jacob and Jacob his name was changed to Yashala and to Israel you know Yashala in the Lashma Kodash in the Holy Tongue you know because the Lord spoke in the Holy Tongue to Moses and Yahweh spoke in the Hebrew also to what uh, to whom Salachia to the Apostle Paul saying that his name was Yahweh Shai you know so it's written in the King James Bible in the English so the word Jesus there is not correct you see that's not correct, man. That goes into Eusis. Christ goes into uh, Christos, you know, which means uh, anointed. You know, Eusis goes into another uh, deity. You know, we have nothing to do with them Greeks, but we need to still go back to the Grecian language because it's, the New Testament is written in the Greek and the Old Testament, you know, or the First Testament is written is written in the Hebrew. That's why we have the the Hebrew letters, the Hebrew words, you know, in the Strong's. And the Greek, you know, the G in the, you know, blue letter Bible. You know, so we go back also into the etymology, the root meaning of the word. You know, so we can get to the core of things and that the truth, you know, will flourish. Because the Lord has given his prophets the spirit to, you know, wake up the elect, to wake up themselves, of course, to the spirit of Yahweh, Basham Yahshua, through his word, through the Holy Spirit, which is the spirit of truth. And also... You know, to wake the hell up out of, uh, you know, our spiritual, you know, uh, sleep, man. And to come back to our power and to our true nationality. Because our power has a name. His name is Yahweh. And the name of his son is Yahweh Shai. And Yahweh Shai came for the lost sheep of the house of Israel. You know, whom are in the hands of their enemies. So, you know, to do that. You know, if you go to Proverbs chapter one, a lot of people don't want to listen. You know, this is this is going to be a quick hit. Proverbs chapter one, verse uh, twenty. Wisdom warns. You know, wisdom shouts in the streets in the NLT. You know, because a lot of people they just want to uh, uh, they take offense to the word, really, man. You know, so Proverbs chapter one, verse twenty. Wisdom cried without. She uttered her voice in the streets. You know, she uttered her voice in the streets. She's, you know, wisdom is out there, man. You know, how? But, uh, 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 you know, the, the prophets of, that are on the highways and byways, man. You know what I'm saying? So, it's so lucky for the, the MK Ultra there. But, um, <laughs> you know, we out there, man, on the highways and byways, telling all y'all, you know, uh, who you are, man. You know, so... It's about waking the hell up out of this hellhole and getting back to Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai, man, because you need to know who you are to be able to know, uh, you know, where you're going and where you need to be, you know. So um, she cried in the chief place of concourse in the opening of the gates on the gates of the city, you know, in the entrance uh, and the exit of the city, man, where people walk in and out, you know. So no one has an excuse when you enter into the city, you know, where we teach now in the city of Utrecht. First, we were in Amsterdam. You know, your brothers in Rotterdam as well, you know. And, you know, um, when they go in and out at the station and, you know, at, at the entrance of the city, we're right there, man, you know. And the NLT, she calls to the crowds along the main street. So the main street, not some uh, back highway or whatever, you know. we right there, man. But, of course, now you see the spirit uh, also uh, moving uh, towards, you know, getting us off the street, man. So they'll be like, oh, you see, I see certain groups, uh, you know, not being in the main. Because we've been preaching a long time. 
And also certain, uh, uh, that's to me in the spirit, the Lord just, you know, telling his prophets like, it's almost done, man. Because, the, you know, the the hour of temptation is at the door, man. The the mark of the beast, you know, the Sihib, you know, the Harachma, you know, the, the radio frequency identification device is about to be implemented, man. A lot of things are happening, you know, uproars of the people, you know, people being bugged, uh, bugged out, you know, perplexed, you know. All types of madness is happening, man. People living like Sodom and Gomorrah. This is all what the prophet's been warning from since the beginning, man. You know, so um, she goes to the crowds along the main street to those gathered in front of the city gate. You know, the city gate, again, the entrance of the city. You know, I mean, people go out, the exit. So saying, to go back to the NLT of the, uh, the, the let me continue in there. How long, you simpletons? Do you insist on being simple-minded? How long will you mockers re uh, relish your mocking? How long will you fools hate knowledge? Come and listen to my counsel. And I'll share my heart with you and make you wise. You know, so I called you so often, but you wouldn't come. I reached out to you, but you paid no attention. You know, and this is what our people be doing, man. They pull away the shoulder like, eh, I, got, I got no time for this. So what is the Lord going to do? Let me go to the... KJV also. So how long you simple ones will you lost simplicity? And the scorn is the light in their scorning. And fools hate knowledge. Because you got, got a lot of scorners out there, you know, the mockers that are out there like, ah, right, man, ain't, 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 you know, a damn thing going to change. You know, y'all be out here, get a job, man. You know, so they scorn, they make mouth sad, talk arrogantly. So they think they got it going on and they be like, and they, they, they think they have security, you know. To mark the ride, to interpret, uh, goes in, to be inflated, you know, go puffed up. <laughs> Who are y'all, man? Scoff, act as a scorner. You see, the scoffers, man. In the last day, uh, what what does uh, Second Peter chapter uh, three says in the first uh, three verses? In the last days, they shall what be be scoffers, man. You know, so that's what they do, man. Turn you at my reproof. Behold, I will pour out my spirit unto you. I will make known my words unto you. You know how? Uh, Salaki, let me get, read one, one more in 24. Because I have called and you refused. You know, we're out there on the highways and byways. May I prophesy unto the wind. My sheep shall hear my voice. John chapter 10, verse 27 on down. I stretched, I have stretched out my hand and no man regarded. But ye have said it not all my counsel and would none of my reproof. So you ignored in the NLT my advice and rejected the correction I offered. You see that? And how did the uh, knowledge came to uh, to us? Look. Verse 2. To know wisdom and instruction, to perceive the words of understanding, to receive the instruction of wisdom, justice, and judgment, and equity, you know, to give subtlety to the simple, to the young man, knowledge and disc uh, discretion, a wise man will hear and will increase learning. So if you're wise, my son, if thou wilt, thou shalt be taught. That's what the Apocrypha says. And a man of understanding shall attain unto wise counsels. So let the wise in the NLT, uh, let the wise uh, listen to these Proverbs and become even wiser. Let those with understanding receive guidance. You know, how do you get that? Attaining unto wise counsel, as it says here, you know, in the in the in the KJV, to do and what do you get then to understand a proverb and their interpretation and uh, the words of the wise and their dark sayings? The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and instruction. So you go to the apostles and elder bishops, you listen to their to their teachings, you get wiser, you know, if the Lord is uh, has opened up. Uh, you know your ears and gave, giving you eyes to see to see what going what is going on. Everyone has ears and, uh, and and eyes, but can they understand what the spirit is saying? That's one other thing, man. But if you don't want to listen, you want to pull away the shoulder. You be like, I don't want to be reproved. Well, death and destruction is coming. Perilous times are coming. So the Lord will be like, okay, um, if you don't want to listen, Hosea chapter four. You know, verse 6, my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge 
because thou hast rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee, that thou sh uh, shalt be no priest to me, seeing thou hast forgotten the law of thy power, Yahweh, I will also forget thy children. You see that? So if you reject the Lord, he will reject you. And in the time of your trouble, Proverbs 1 and 24, because I have called and ye refused, I have stretched out my hand and no man regarded. So the Lord's calling you. And you'd be like, it ain't important to me. But ye have set at naught all my counsel and would none of my reproof. You don't want to be, uh, you know, told that you're going off and that you need to repent and that the Lord will, you know, increase you and your family. But you have things to do, man. You know, I also will laugh at your calamity. I will mock when your fear comes. So the Lord going to laugh at you. How to a service the prophets, man. When your fear come as desolation and your destruction come as a whirlwind, when distress and anguish come upon you. So your fear, uh, uh, you know, your calamities, all your, 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 the painful times when they come, you know, like a whirlwind, man. You know, what, uh, <laughs> the whirlwind brings a lot of damage, man. So you're going to be messed up. You know, let me go to the world, word, world uh, to the world, man. <laughs> let me go to the word whirlwind you know so normally you stumble at the the word world or you know what whirlwind is another tongue uh, twister but um the storm wind man and here it goes into uh an overflow and it goes into a hurricane hurricane you know inside joe you see a tempest a storm man you know when that cometh upon you you know distress and anguish distress goes into straits you know trouble man Distress, trouble, you see? Vexer, you know, uh, adversity. So when the times of tribulation uh, are coming, and it will come, what are you going to do then? Oh, my God. Eh. But then it's too late, man, because the Lord will laugh at you. Because you were the one that was, you know, proud, like, I ain't got time for this right now, you know? Get a job. All right? We on a job right now, man. You know? Teaching. Uh, the word. And that's the funny thing. Y'all out there on a Saturday or whatever day, you need telling us to get a job. Well, you here too. You know? And brothers, we're working, man. You got families and all that, man. You know, even if you don't have a families and whatever, you know, sometimes you, you, just like other people, you might switch jobs or whatever. You know, we go to ups and downs. But the, the most important job is to get the scriptures out there, man. You know, warn my people uh, uh, for me, man. And the, the warning comes from the Heavenly Father, like in Ezekiel chapter, uh, you know, 33. There's many chapters in Ezekiel, man. You know, so when your stress comes, you can uh, distress, you can strain, uh, straight, you know, to selectively read, you know, your trouble, man. You know, an anguish, which goes into, yeah, that, that's a lot. That goes into what I just read. And distress, yeah, I've already read, I read that. I need to go on. What does uh, what's going to happen? Then shall they go? Oh my God, help me! Even if you know the name, many shall say what? Even uh, the ones that, that claim to be prophets, you know, not everyone that says Lord, Lord shall enter into the kingdom, man. The Lord will uh, come and be like, no, uh, get away from me. You know, I never knew thee, man. Just workers of iniquity, man. You just hypocrites. You're faking the funk. You're faking it, man. Then shall they call upon me, but I will not answer. Then the Lord will be, you know what? You know, he will cut the line, man. They will hurt more than, you know, when you call a female, I believe this number, or you're blocked. <laughs> and, hey, when the Lord block you, then you're going to feel real rejection, real pain, man. And you're going to know why it's been blocked, man. They shall seek me early, but they shall not find me. You know? The prophets gonna are not gonna be out there for for long, man. For that they hated knowledge and did not choose the fear of the Lord, they would none of my counsel. They despised all my reproof. Therefore shall they eat of the fruit of their own way and be filled with their own devices. So now all the things y'all y'all knew it better, right? Well, we're gonna see in that day you're gonna be recompensed with all your own. All your things that you've been doing, you thought you were this all-knowing, uh, uh, you know, uh, person. That, uh, you know, and you were so full of yourself that you start to market the prophets of the Lord, man. You know, for the turning 
a way of the simple shall slay them, and the prosperity of fools shall destroy them. And also, if y'all think y'all got it going on in your in your uh, security, you will be destroyed, man. But whoso hearken unto me shall dwell safely and shall be quiet from fear of evil. So the ones that listen to the Lord, you know, like it says here, but all who listen to me will live in peace, untroubled by fear or harm. Because in that in that day, the heathen shall envy us, man. But we shall have what? We shall have uh, plenty. My servants shall eat. So when the time of fam uh, famine comes, trouble, you know, we're going to go through some things. But to the spirit of, and power of Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh Shai, the Lord, uh, you know, has his angel encamping around uh, about them that fear him. And we shall have plenty, man. You know? You know, you and your family in, in the book of Isaiah. So, you know, faith is going to be uh, uh, recompensed, man, with, with the Lord's mercy, you know, with protection. You know, but you have to have faith in Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shah. So with that, I'd like to say Shalom.